Hello, Facebook world. This is John Pinto, your roving realtor, bon vivant, home chef, and BMW enthusiast. And I am over at BMW of San Luis Obispo. I decided it was easier to get my car serviced on the way back from uh, doing a property inspection in Santa Maria, California, of all places. Uh, that'll be a separate uh, video blog. Uh, I sold a property down there from San Jose and Napa doing a three-way uh, video conference with WhatsApp. How about that? But that's not what we're here for today. What we're here for today is uh, going over what's on the showroom floor in way of BMW. Ellen and I have probably had about a dozen BMWs since 2004. So let's see what we have. Okay, so we're going to cheat a little bit. And we've got an M5 competition. How can that be bad? So if you're looking for a family sedan uh, with some driving excitement... And I did notice these nice Recaro seats or Recaro style seats with the side bolsters to hold you in place while you're going around corners like a bat out of hell. Uh, the, uh, the Jet Black uh, is nice with the two-tone black and uh, dove gray interior. Very nice. So... That is uh, going to be quite a vehicle. I don't see the... Oh, here we go. Let's see what the sticker is on it. Whoa! $135,000. And one forty-five. So I don't think I'm going to be buying this car anytime soon. But if your company just went public, why not? Okay, now this is more our speed... Ellen has probably had a half a dozen uh, three series sedans and uh, this is yet another gunmetal gray. Uh, these are great cars. I think they've been tops in their class for like 22 years in a row. Uh, Ellen is not pleased that she can't get a six speed anymore. Hi Tim. Hi Scott. How you doing? Thanks for checking in. All right, Th this one's got my name on it right here. M40i. You know, I gotta get my fill of uh, vitamin D and plenty of sunshine. Z4. Again, you've got a little bit of a dove gray action here going. Uh, they've got some interesting stitching on these cars. Hey Nick, Paisan, how you doing? Paul, how you doing? You sheltering in place today? Listening to realtors? Yeah, this is, this is quite a nice vehicle. And anytime it's got an M in front of it, how can you go wrong? Now, my current car is a 230i convertible. So, this is an M2 competition. I love that color with the carbon fiber spoiler on it. Oh, that is a beautiful cover. As a matter of fact, in 2004, I had a 640i with an SMG convertible that was roughly this color. Uh, I would prefer it if we chopped the top off, uh, but this is going to have some sweet sports seating, too. And the nice thing about BMW is you could buy an 8 Series, you could buy a 2 Series. It's all appointed pretty much the same way. Okay, so here we go. This is a new model. This is a 228i um, sedan. So they've only had coupes in the past. So let's see if it could seat anybody other than Munchkins. Since my wife Ellen and I are munchkins and we move our seats uh, up front up, I think you could probably put real people in the back seat of this. I love the 2 Series. It's a throwback to original BMWs, real driver's cars. And uh, 47000 that's more like it. 
And BMW is always pretty aggressive on their leases with minimal drive off. So, uh, you know, take a look at that. And we'll take another look at these cars coming at, the, at them from the front. Just love that uh, teal blue. Go Sharks. Hello, Dan Rusinowski. I think you'd never see me dead buying a silver car. Although the gunmetal gray could work nicely uh, with a red interior. And uh, the piano black is kind of nice. Again, with a red interior, I could go for that. So let's see the second line. Oh, we've got the limo of the line, a 750i X Drive, if you need to drive your family up to Tahoe. More luxury car, big car. Uh, you know, these things are like limousines. You could see the amount of uh, leg room. This is a nice, kind of like a birch trim. Dove gray again. Okay, here we go. M8. Oh boy. This looks really nice. I like the uh, snow white action going. I bet you you can get some good sound effects from those quad tailpipes. Oh, look, it's practical. You got four You got four doors. I mean, how practical is that? Nice little rear console. You have real leg room. There's your fancy pants dashboard. And uh, this is kind of nice. Uh, a kind of black on black uh, stitching with the bo extra bolstered seating. Um, there is no, oh, and look at that, a carbon fiber roof. How do you like that for fancy pants? Um, that looks like it's probably going to be a little pricey, but beautiful. And I definitely would have gotten that with a red interior. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, M8. Oh, how sweet is that? Nice tailpipes. Nice uh, piano black trim. Oopsie daisy. This one uh, might not work quite as good uh, for rear seat room, but who cares? Um, really nice. The gunmetal with uh, kind of the cream dove gray. And you could see the color on color stitching. You've got a good view of the a good view of the dashboard here. Okay, now we've got an interesting 440i. So I'm thinking this has probably got the four cylinder. Interesting body color, if you could see it. It's kind of a, a kind of a bronze. Twin tailpipes as opposed to the quad tailpipes, which tells me it's got a four-cylinder. It's a coupe. It actually does look like it's got some leg room in the back. More modest, non-sport seating. Your typical uh, nicely appointed but not overwrought BMW dashboard. Again, here, you might get the color there. Sign me up on this one. Uh, just uh, get me some red interior. I really need to replenish my vitamin D, have a convertible. This is a nice looking vehicle, although I'm done with four doors and I'm done with hard tops. Oh yeah, and look at, this is a new 
styling cue from BMW, these gigantic uh, kidney grills. That is a little different. Shelly, you're right. I could smell that new car smell, too. Warren, pick one out. Meet me in San Luis Obispo. Okay. Oh, just what everybody needs. An X7 M50i. So, you can go to the grocery store at 150 miles an hour, and I'm going to think it's probably got three rows of seating. So, let's see if I can figure this out. Yes, there's three rows of seating, so you can go to the supermarket with six people, like a bat out of hell, at 150 miles an hour. There's the dashboard. I'm loving that color on color stitching, the black on black. And uh, I think me and my wife uh, would need uh, like an escalator to get into this car. Oh, how nice. A car that is not gray. I like that. X5M competition. I like the sound of that. Can we get bigger quad tailpipes? I don't think so. Oh, I'm loving that periwinkle blue. What do you think? You think that's periwinkle blue? Mateo, como esta oggi? It must be uh, getting close to midnight. You should be in bed in Italy. Come to the United States, buy yourself a BMW. I'm loving that periwinkle blue. Do, you, do we think it's periwinkle blue? You let me know what color you think it is. And again, you got the fancy pants, color on color, the bolstered seats. And this is interesting. There's kind of a double hooded, well, you got the hooded uh, dashboard for your, uh, your dials. And then, of course, you got your iDrive nav. And as always, a very nice console. Okay, and here's a good car if you're going to be in a caravan for going to a Sicilian wedding, or a Sicilian funeral for that matter. Uh, X5 competition, black, huge tailpipes. I don't mind the, the flat black, the piano black. Ah, okay, finally, finally. We got black with red. Oh, I'm liking the two-tone. I'm liking the two-tone. Oh, yeah, black with red. My wife would like this, although she would rather have the red on the outside. Right, Ellen? But this is, this is nice. Black with a red interior. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, look at that. Oh, red on the doors. Red accents on the dash. Yeah, that's good. You can sign me up for this one if I wanted a car this big. I still prefer a convertible. Oh, here's an X6, the car that everyone wondered why does an X6 need to be made. Uh, I'm thinking if you, if you want an SUV kind of a car, but you want it to have a little bit more of a fastback. Um, yeah, I like this car. X-Drive. You know, you, Ellen's uh, got an X2 with uh, uh, all-wheel drive, and... Uh, uh, we do prefer it to the old uh, Mini Cooper that had the front wheel drive, although we did love the Mini Cooper. So, white with black interior. Again, my last two cars, maybe three cars, that were white with a red interior. That's what I prefer. Matteo, you're in Germany. Very good. Just go to Frankfurt and fly directly to... Uh, SFO, come to Napa, we'll do a wine tasting, and then we'll uh, drive down to San Luis Obispo and get you a nice convertible BMW. And last but not least, we have an X4. So this is a four-wheel drive, bat out of hell M. The big tailpipes, fire engine red. Yes, this has Ellen's name on it. Let's put it in order. And fire engine red with a little dove gray. That'll work. I'm surprised that this one doesn't have the sports seats, although I guess it just doesn't have the stitching, but it's got the bolstered side. Uh, you see the console, 
and you see the dashboard. And finally, let's get a look at it from the front. It's a nice big car. So again, here I am, BMW of San Luis Obispo. Again, you may ask, what the hell is John doing at BMW San Luis Obispo? Uh, over the past 16 years, I've probably bought close to a dozen BMWs from uh, Stevens Creek BMW. Uh, but I did sell a property in Santa Maria on a three-way uh, video conference using WhatsApp. And at some point, I needed to come down and do what they call an agent's uh, diligent visual inspection disclosure. So I did that, and I figured I'm due for maintenance. It's easier for me to come to BMW of San Luis Obispo on the way back to the Bay Area than Jackass from uh, Napa down to Stevens Creek BMW. So, uh, as you may know, uh, I am a home chef, I'm a realtor, a bon vivant BMW enthusiast, and if you are looking to buy, sell, exchange any real estate in the Bay Area, please give me a call, especially if you want to take advantage of upgrading your shelter in place. Thank you very much. I could be reached at 408-829-4141.